lyrics, I told it would be better to write lyrics by someone who writes for young people, not a regular, you know, uh, established uh, writer, but someone who, who have, has a contact with young people and speaks their language to write, a, to write lyrics. Uh, so we wrote it in three days and, and sent a demo and, 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 and eventually we, Olivia won the Polish finals and I'm very happy for her because she deserves that and, and I wish all, her all the best and I hope she will uh, she show um, her all. And Let's give her a hand yes. of applause. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, Mateusz, as a head of delegation, yeah. um, uh, what are you expecting from this year's um, contest? Exactly, exactly this same thing, what is going on here. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, our expectations are, are what, we, what we see here and we are very happy to be on Malta. It's a beautiful place, it's a great thing that this kind of uh, event is, takes place in this kind of uh, beautiful uh, you know, island and everything is, is, is really amazing here. Uh, I'm almost. I have a couple of Polish friends here in Malta, and they are all amazed and li very music literate. Is this something with, within all the Polish people? <laughs> uh, maybe it's something about the um, Polish romantic souls. We have we have a romantic soul. Okay, that's interesting. That's it. Uh, Olivia, um, uh, is this your first international experience, or no? Because I've been in the USA with Piotr and. I sing with choir, with an orchestra. And this was a few months ago. Am yeah. Right? Okay, can you explain about this experience you had? What? Can you explain about this experience, what it was all about? Oh, it was great, and I love USA. I want to live there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if you have any, let me let me help with yes, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, she was there uh, two, two weeks ago. We just we just came back to Poland on Tuesday, and then next this this uh, and on Sunday we went to Malta. So okay, it was two so so weeks so around the states, ten concerts, and we uh, we already have some plans because uh, we think together that it would be good for Olivia to start from out there, I mean, to do some recordings from the States, not from Poland, I mean, because it, uh, it will be much easier for her to be known internationally. Okay, that's nice. So, being a 14-year-old, you're nearly already a full-time singer, so <laughs> that's very good. So, if you have uh, any questions, um, you can ask Whatever you'd like, we're available here for, for questions along along this afternoon. Can you, yes, your name and where do you come from, even if you're representing any particular media base? Yes, my name is JP from Radio International in the Netherlands. Uh, welcome back, Poland, to the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. And uh, I would like to, to continue with a question before. You've been singing uh, in front of so many people in uh, with, with, uh, with the choir in other countries. Now you're on the stage of the Eurovision Song Contest. And how much does it differ for you? What is more nerve wracking for you? The big TV production or the big audience in front of you uh, performing at? Olivia will, uh, will speak in Polish, okay, and I will translate that to you, it will be much easier for her, okay? <laughs> for, a for a lesson of, of languages this afternoon. <laughs> it's also confusing sometimes for a young person to, how to, to be in it. Więc tak, e, więc na pewno jest bardzo duża różnica, bo e, będąc w Stanach właśnie śpiewałam e, z chórem, z orkiestrą, z innymi solistami. Tutaj jestem jednak na scenie sama, scena jest większa i no, nie wiem, czuję się chyba na obu scenach dobrze. The, the difference is uh, quite, uh, quite big because the, there was a an audience, big audience, choir, orchestra, and at this stage, she is alone. So uh, 
uh, so it's it's not, uh, not a, it's a bit, a bit different. But but uh, Olivia says she she's feeling good on both on both uh, in both uh, on both occasions um, because uh, uh, she's um, she's used to that. But uh, she, when she sings. Uh, she doesn't think about differences because she just thinks the audience is there. So uh, it's uh, it's not that she thinks that it's just TV or just audience. It's she sings uh, with her heart. So it's uh, just uh, she she imagines that there is an audience. So but the difference just just she's alone here, yeah, on the stage suddenly. Thank you. So are there any other questions? Yes. Hi Olivia, hi, I'm Fabiana, I'm from Yesipedia, Brazilian media. Uh, why did you decide to sing the last part of your song in English? No to tak, zrobiłam tak, ponieważ większość krajów tak robiła. A ja bardzo lubię śpiewać po angielsku, no i nie chciałam być, być też inna, a, a śpiewanie po angielsku też mi sprawia y, dużą radość, więc stwierdziłam, że skoro jest taka możliwość, to tak zrobię. Uh, Olivia did that because uh, other countries also did that and she used that opportunity to, to, to have this 25% of text in English. Uh, actually, in, a, in our song is 21.5. We, we 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 checked it out, <laughs> but uh, she 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 realized that other countries did that show, so why not? And she likes singing in English as well, and she feels comfortable singing in English, so why not? Uh, we, um, the part of the song will be uh, the part uh, of the song will be exotic, and the other part will be uh, well uh, understand uh, understandable. Okay, thank you. And any more questions yet? I know that Roy would like also to present something to you. Roy is from OGA International, rest of the world. So to be precisely good, uh, Roy, maybe you can grab a microphone and have your say as well about what you have to. Hi Olivia, uh, our fan club is in countries that where there are no uh, Eurovision clubs. So it's South Africa, Brazil, Argentina, Costa Rica, everywhere. And we have voted for the most radio friendly song by a female and by a male. And your song was voted the best by a female. So it's, it's Thursday and we already have one have an award here, so thank, thank you, Roy. So you can sing now also when you're having a bite. <laughs> okay, um, uh, would you like to say some more thing before we end this press conference? Maybe a message to those watching us online? or the press here, or maybe the Polish people maybe watching us at the, at the moment, or the rest of Europe, and Australia as well, not to forget. Vote for me. <laughs> that was easy and, easy and indeed at, at this point in, in time. Thank you very much, Olivia. Thank Good luck you. for next Sunday. Thank you the, for the Polish delegation for being with us today. Enjoy the rest of, of, of the day and your hard work until next Sunday. Thank you very much. Thanks.